I love it. Look at that. Our damage is going. When we started off this fight, we were doing less than like 200 per hit. And now with the Igni plus the, uh, I think it's what, the Wyvern decoction? Look at that. Our damage is getting up to like over 500. That was hardly a boss fight, but it was a contract. I suppose we actually were a little bit leveled for that one. So I guess it's not really fair, because it would have been more difficult. Cool. I do, Goldman! I play Witcher 3 every single night. Every single night. 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Fun times. And then in the mornings, we play RimWorld. Also fun. RimWorld tends to involve a lot more yelling. Our evening streams tend to be a lot more mellow. So, I guess it's really all about what you want out of your stream. Alright, collect a reward for killing it. Oh, you know what? We should see what its trophy is. 5% bonus experience. No. No. I like this one. Succubus trophy. 5% bonus gold. I know it's barely anything. Game is good. Waypoints give away too much. Waypoints. Not quite sure what you mean. Oh, follow okay, I understand that. You know what? I agree with that. And I kind of have a weird um, similarity. So when I started playing World of Warcraft, when I first started playing it, there was no kind of trust, uh, quest tracking on the minimap. It didn't show you where to go. So you had to read the quests and you had to figure things out on your own. And for some quests, it was pretty damn tough. And there were actually very few times, but a few times, where I actually went on YouTube to try and figure out locations, because I just could not figure out from the clues that were given. A short was prowling and now, forest, in World of Warcraft, they added it, so, like, fiends, you so just, it has a quest tracker, just like in Witcher. So people don't even read the quests anymore, and they just follow the quests. Think they've done made a pact to take our village? So. Doubt it, but I'll be sure to keep my eyes open and see if there's anything else out there. Cheers, then, Witcher! Here, take the purse. All the folk of the village chipped in. Why is there yelling? Take care now. Uh, because it's RimWorld. RimWorld is a fairly RNG dependent game, but it also severely punishes you for making the bad decisions that I am very much prone to making. So, why is it pointing me here? Oh, because it's that. Excellent! Oh, good lord. Morse code. Ugh. Alright, we're still going to be trying to follow our lowest level quests, even if there's story stuff, so... Well, to be fair, Derminator, the quests that you would actually have to look up were ones where it was like, Hey, we need you to find this person who went missing. They're in a cave off to the north, across from, like... A mountain range or something and so you would have to like go to the area and then you would have to look and be like all right there's mountain ranges there's areas where caves could be and then you would have to search around and every once in a while it would end up being something like oh well the caves view is obscured so if you're not coming at it from exactly the right direction you would never see it to be i'm not trying to say that like wow had a lot of quest diversity most things in wow and still today come down to kill these people Give me their trophies. So, okay, looks like this is the next thing. We got to clear, kill us some gangsters. But, uh, Nader, it does. What it probably says about you is that you just don't always notice the small. Maybe not the small things, but you don't always notice some of the things around you. That doesn't mean that you're not necessarily observant. You just notice different things. For me in a lot of games, because I'm an old man, 
waypoints and quests tend to be big flashing lights that I can't possibly miss. And then when they threw something small at me, 